Welcome back. In today's short video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the cool new updates that Focus has released in the last few days. If you've opened up your Focus in the past four days or so, you'll probably have seen it has changed around a bit. And some of these changes are fantastic in my opinion, especially for quality of life. I'm sure you all know what Focus is by now, but for those of you who don't, it's just a really simple alternative for things like Comfy UI or Automatic 11.11. Basically just a really simple user interface for all your stable diffusion endeavors. So they have just released version 2.3.0 which includes a whole bunch of quality of life updates the first thing you'll notice when you open up your focus and hit the advanced tab is that there is now a presets box at the top here which includes all your custom presets plus the regular presets already included so no more having to turn off your focus and restarting it you can just simply click it here and it will switch over to the preset of your choice then something really cool i'm sure you've noticed is there is now a lightning option under performance and this does exactly what you think it does it's basically the lightning laura baked right into the software here which means you can use any checkpoint any model you want as if it is a lightning model. Now this is the four step lightning model so we'll be checking that out in just a few seconds. If you've seen my other video about SDXL lightning you know this is quite a quality of life update. So now you don't have to download these huge six gigabyte files of these new checkpoints that include the four step lightning. I will say if the checkpoint you want to use does have a lightning version it is always better to still use that but we can now use any model and use it as a lightning model. As you can see when we switch to the lightning model you cannot input negative prompts anymore and some of the advanced options like guidance scale and image sharpness also go away just like with extreme speed. If you like to use wildcards you can now use subfolders for those wildcards meaning you can organize them all into different subfolders. If we head over to the style tab you'll also see that it's now in two columns which just makes it a little bit easier to read compared to the other uneven sort of box layout. Much cleaner much nicer. Speaking of wildcards there is now an option here to read wildcards in order which will generate the images based on the order in which your wild cards are written. So let's give this lightning performance option a go. We will leave everything standard. I'll leave the styles that they like to include standard as well. And we're using the regular Juggernaut XL version 7 even. So no lightning there and the standard offset LoRa they put in there as well. So we're going to go for a llama riding a skateboard. And thanks to the new array feature from 2.2, we can now include these double square brackets and input the different options we want it to use in order as well. So unlike with the wild card, this will do this in order from blue, red, black to white. Now you want to make sure that the image number is at least as high as the amount of options you have in your array. So we have four with four steps. Let's hit generate, see how fast this is. A portion of this video is sponsored by Noisy, which is an amazing music to video AI generator. Check out my last video on them because it's truly an amazing tool. Thanks Noisy for sponsoring this video. And there we have it, photorealistic images in four steps using any model you want. Look at the quality and detail on this llama. So we have our blue, our red, which didn't go quite well, our black and our white llamas. All right, so here I just have a random prompt of a woman. One image, four steps. I'll not speed this part up just so you can see how quick this is. And this is on my old GT 1080 GPU. Here we go. Wow, that was amazingly fast. Look at the detail on this as well. Slight little artifact there in the eyes. Super impressive though. The hair, everything looks perfect. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to quickly show you, especially this lightning feature, as this can save people a lot of time. And I really love using this with all the different models. If you have any questions about AI or just want to talk, join our Discord, link in the description. I'll see you next time.